So this is a mason bee nest that my husband made. Can you tell me about it, Steve? Why did you do it? Basically, your mason bees and your leaf cutters are attracted to small holes in the wood. So we drill these small holes that they can fit into. They'll build their nest in there. Hopefully, it'll attract the bees to the area. And the next spring, they'll all hatch. They'll help to pollinate the garden since we've got a shortage of honeybees and other pollinators. And then hopefully they'll cycle back in, lay eggs again. We'll have to clean out the holes or put in clean holes for them. But perpetually it'll be a year after year thing and we'll have a better harvest. It should increase harvest up to 40% of production. So that's what we're hoping for. Have you noticed that there's been a shortage of bees then? This affect Oh, farmers? definitely, definitely. It's uh, the lawn used to be covered with honeybees and bumblebees. I mean, we had a lot of clover, and now you're lucky you see one or two in a whole five, six acre lawn. It's just really pathetic. When do you think that this will start? They'll start to be attracted to this. Well, hopefully this spring. Hopefully there will be a few come around and uh, start to lay and pollinate the crops, and then next year we'll have a, the benefits from it. And what did you make it from? How did you construct it? It's just scrap wood, uh, six inches deep, about 14 inches round. The dimensions really don't matter as long as you have at least six inch deep tubes. And uh, just put a little screen over to keep the birds away from the bees mm -hmm. so they won't eat the bees. And then uh, a little cover to prevent it from getting too wet. Mm -hmm. It faces south, the sun warms it up in the morning, that's when the bees emerge. That's been very simple. Very and it basic. looks like, is this a bird nest that you made and you've put it on a pole from a cedar cedar tree? Yeah, that's been there for years. That's attract uh, bluebirds uh, and your, your swallows, your tree swallows that are very good for eating insects during the summer. Okay, and then did you make this yourself, self-constructed? Of course. Farmers <laughs> okay. always do everything themselves. All right, thank you.